Previously on Minecraft Hardcore. Let's talk a little bit about my Minecraft history and when I started actually playing the game. Did you guys know that the very first time I seen Minecraft being played was when I was watching one of Ethos videos? And it hit me of how fun the game actually looked and I was really, really thrilled to just, you know, just try it out. And I was like, you know what, we definitely got to try this out. But the funny thing was I ended up trying the game out on Xbox. And I don't really remember a whole lot, but I played it for about five minutes and I kind of thought, man, this game is absolutely terrible. Why am I wasting my time playing it? And then years later, I picked the game back up and started playing it again. And then I actually started to enjoy it and actually like it. So I'm definitely glad that I gave Minecraft a second chance because most of the time we will, you know, as human beings, we will play something and we will never ever give it a second chance, but uh, it's always nice to give games a second chance, I think. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft Hardcore. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day. So in the last episode, we did some building. We built ourselves a fishing shack and we went mining for a bunch of iron. In today's episode, I'm going to build a different style of mob farm. We're going to build one way up in the air and it's going to be awesome. So before I head out, guys to go start building a mob farm high up into the sky i do want to go over a couple things as you guys can see i do have a stack of iron and i did also make an anvil but as you guys can see i need to combine this pickaxe with the fortune one pickaxe and that's what i would like to do now so let's see how many levels this is actually going to cost me so we're going to take efficiency four and fortune one and we're going to combine those together so it's going to cost me six levels which is fine so let's go ahead and do that so now we have a Fortune 1 Efficiency 4 pickaxe, which is awesome. Don't mind me, guys. I've been working really, really hard, as you guys can see. Now the animal room is all full of grass, and it looks lovely. I've also did some interior work in here, and we've added some wood with some slabs up here with some lanterns. It looks really awesome. Also, I have done some work in the enchanting room as well. We've added some deep slate to the floor and some lanterns in here. I'm probably going to change it up eventually and kind of make the room more even. But as of right now, it's just like a 9 by 7 or something like that. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and build a mob farm off camera. It's just going to be like one of those mob farms that you build in the sky that everybody's already seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. This took a very long time and a lot of cobblestone, but the idea was to scout out an ocean, and it worked out for me. Now I'm going to build the mob farm over the ocean because when you're building a mob farm over top of an ocean, it's a lot better spawn rate than building one over top of land because when you're building a mob farm over top of land, there are caves and everything else like that. So it's definitely better to go out in the ocean and do it. Well, if you guys ever decide that you want to create yourselves a stairway to heaven, this is kind of what it's going to look like. So... <laughs> This has taken a really, really, really long time. I don't even want to tell you guys how many hours I spent building this, but it did take a while. All right, guys, the mob farm is officially done. This did take a couple hours to do, but it was definitely worth it. Now what I'm going to do is get a bunch of XP and see how many levels that I can get in about one hour. Well, unfortunately, my sword has broken, guys, so I'm going to head out of here. And as you guys can see, I did add a door to the place as well and a roof just in case the phantom mobs start to spawn or something, just so that I can be safe. I do need to be a little bit careful here on the way back home. But anyways, with that said, what I want to do next is actually go find a village. So we're going to do a little bit of exploring and see what we can run into. And hopefully we can find some villagers and get them safely back home. I did watch a video on YouTube the other day. And this guy was talking about taking a name tag and putting the name of a biome on it. And actually hitting up one of the uh, wandering traders. And then suddenly it'll change them into a villager. So I might try that as well. I just wanted to take a moment to watch the sun rise on minecraft look how beautiful this looks with shaders guys it looks absolutely amazing and i'm really really impressed at where this game has came from and now to where it is today this definitely was not the plan to find a village in a snowy plains biome guys but it is what it is um, also, I would like to do some terraforming around here and actually redo this village. So I am going to put together a little bit of a time lapse and we're going to restructure this village a little bit and get it to where buildings are more close together and not so scattered about. And it's going to be awesome.
All right, guys. So obviously I'm not going to spend the entire episode doing this village, but here is what I've come up with so far right now. I think it turned out really good. We've got ourselves some crops here. I did a custom house here and a custom house here. And then if you come over here, I did a custom fountain. It looks really awesome. I did some bone milling around here just to make it look better. And overall, I think this little side project turned out fairly good, guys. Anyways, guys, I think it's time for me to make some boats so that way I can get all these villagers secured and actually see how many we have. Well, this really sucks. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I guess the series is over. But honestly, I've had the worst day. I'm just, I'm having a bad day and, you know, it is what it is.